Hey everybody, it's Ken Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and I'm going to do the quick walkthrough for our March 8th, 2022 decorative arts auction. About 400 and some lots of collectibles, antiques, uh, rifles, firearms, furniture, art, jewelry, etc. So you've pretty much seen the, uh, the, the span of the room. There's a lot of items packed into all these showcases, into all the... Uh, shelf units we have here um, there's also a whole wall of good inlaid decorator designer furniture up this way as well as chandeliers across the top there uh, bidding is online on our website uniquesandantiques.com you can bid directly there just set up an account uh, it's a cheaper buyer's room than it is on live auctioneers and invaluable by three percent uh, regardless of how you pay so that's the place to do it. You can still bid on live auctioneers. You can still bid on Invaluable. But our website works just as well. All right, so let's walk up and down the aisles. We start at lot number one, which is over here. Some good porcelains, the Yadros, the uh, very cool letterbox. I love this right here. It's got the uh, rates and postage, one ounce, one cent. So that's got some age to it. Uh, some good... Uh, decanters came out of a great estate we did in uh, Villanova. This is a good Swiss music box. I'm going to turn it on for a sec. Starting up. Super nice. There's more video of it playing in our website. That's one of the cool things about our website is you can now, we can now have videos description so you can see the items. Lots of good items in the beginning, the first 20 lots including crystal, silver, and that music box, which is lot number 30. Let me jump across over here. There's lot 63. Very nice little uh, antique oil painting. Uh, you have some good Atmos clocks. This is in lot, lot 40 to 50 area. There's a good Tiffany style lamp with the pulled feather. There's good porcelains. Look at the size of this uh, porcelain uh, vase right here. It's kind of hard to tell in the pictures, but that's what it is in, in line with other items. Let me come across this direction. Good old uh, registered scale from that house in uh, Villanova. They had some amazing collectibles that I'm sure they spent years acquiring, etc. Maitland Smith urns up top. You have good art glass, pottery. There's some Champlevé, some good Chinese, statues, bronzes, white metal. You have the bronze vase right there. Then we come around this way. These are nice lithopane uh, steins. A lithopane is a, a type of stein that when you hold it up to the light, you can see a, a scene in the bottom. There you go, that's a pretty cool one right there. These are lot number 105, and the, uh, the man and the woman, the friar and the nun, they both have lithopanes in the bottom. Look at this great little collection right here. We're selling this as, all as one group. And it's all like the European uh, kind of barrel wear with the silver plate trim. There's a great one right here. And it's all hard hallmark sterling or silver, I guess it should say. I don't think it's sterling. Uh, some good decanters or canisters. These are very cool. They are Maurice Modell, kind of like um, car mascots. Look at the size of this lot, lot 119 on the horn magnifier glass. Very cool. Look at this. It's huge. In case you need to have access to your magnifying, keep losing it. You won't lose that one. All right, moving on. The lot, lot, lot 100s, you have some good oak. You have those um, ruins. They're kind of a composition material. They're not marble. Let me get back up this way. This one's awful cool, too. Look how large that one is. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a, maybe a cement-type material composition. Down there, more silver plate. Then we come across the front here, and it's all jewelry. I'm going a little bit backwards here, but this is lot 174, 176. Uh, let me continue this direction if we want to actually go backwards. One of the best items in the auction, I think, is this amazing and uh, KPM plaque. Signed Wagner here on the bottom. It's got the... It's very well framed. In the back, you have the KPM signature. You have a nice original 9x6 uh, label with uh, more details about it, probably in German. But it's a very nice plaque. These usually do pretty well, uh, especially because 
this is of a, a good subject matter and she's got long flowing hair and uh, she's easy on the eyes. Here's a nice pair of these uh, kind of bone framed portraits. Back over this direction, you have some, some more groups of, uh, these are all sold in like lots. Lot 142 is that grouping right there of all the desk accessories. Lot 145, all those porcelains and the monkey candlesticks. Some nice, so this is a little uh, kind of a breastplate. There's a little lot of Disney and there's medals. Now we're up to about lot 160. You have lots of silver jewelry. You have lots of kind of interesting um, kind of silver plate curios. There's some enameled clocks, larger enamel clocks. There's some great uh, glassineware pottery. We continue on, lots of, lots of jewelry. This is a little of a precursor for the lot 300s. There's a bunch of uh, rifles and shotguns a little bit later on in the auction. Lots of jewelry, more clocks in the 195s. You back up this way. Here's a great grouping of kind of a grammar uh, of ornament. Very great little decorator thing if you like all the different types of frills that go into wallpapers and carvings and uh, gesso cornices. There's about a lot of what, eight of those? Prince. Okay, then we a lot. Uh, then we continue along this way. We sell chandeliers across the top. We sell a good um, signed Italian marble bust right here. And look at the quality of it. If you get in real close, you can see how she's got these like little uh, Florida de lis type things carved in her headdress all the way around. She even has carving all through her like lace trim. Very nice. It does have a little uh, losses on the bottom, but that's, uh, that's how the good ones are. Another piece of marble. You have some good block prints. This one right here, back here is a copy, but this is a nice block print. Hashigi. Hiroshigi. Let me back up this way. Very nice mirror. The ranch oak. Got some good mahogany. Have a really nice. This is all for the modern sale coming up, so let me back it out of the way. This is coming up. Lot 278. Very nice inlaid kind of Bombay style. You have the trunks. You have that mirror with the cherub in the top. That's about lot 300. We do about 40, 50 lots per hour. So this is a good, uh, I don't know if it's 450 lots, we're going to be here a good 10 hours, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, back here, let me not forget these. There's a whole collection of great Art Nouveau advertising pieces. There's Toulouse-Lautrec. There's the um, Maitre de la Fiche. You have a telephone collection. You have the pure butter sign. Very cool. You have the uh, console table made from uh, carved elephants. It's lot 254. All right, let me do one more pass around here. Our next decorative arts auction is this one, March 8th. And then we're going to have a modern design auction on April 5th. If you had items for that, we're taking items for that now. All right, so then when we're about lot 300, we have all of these shotguns and flint rifles and uh, right, and uh, a 12 gauge, I think, there is in there. There's a nice bayonet. Backing up this way. Prince. This is a great baker table. It's got three leaves with it. Some very cool French country chairs. Back around here, you got the spinning wheels. You have the mirrors. And that's about it. So a good 450 lots in our March 8th decorative auction. Preview for this auction is Monday, March 7th, starting at 10 a.m. Let me finish up by coming over here. I don't think I did this corner of the room, which has got the uh, the good stemware. It has some good Chesterfield chairs. It has some more block prints. Very nice carved alabaster pedestal, straight up. This piece right here. By the way, there are two Tiffany ashtrays, which I didn't see where they were, but I know they're in the auction here. 
me see if they are. There's Gabby. Hey, Gabby. The auction ends with some great lots of ephemera and some estate lots, which I'm adding on right here. You have good dollhouse items. You have Madame Alexander dolls. You have this Cotswold dollhouse. You have some good um, groups of books. And then all the shelf lots that you see here are sold as shelf lots. So make sure you hang out to the end of the auction. There's some very good items all the way through. Like this sh this uh, shade right here, very cool. Good shape. And there it is. You have book end lots. Book ends. You have doll fixtures. Carvings. Come down this way. You have the Simpsons collection. These items all have to go. There's a helmet collection right there from the 70s. There's a, a bunch of Ralph Lauren pillows. There's a little uh, social justice lot right there. Whips and billy clubs. All those Kentucky Derby glasses. There's some cast iron. Or make that die cast cars. There's some Jim Beam train. And bike parts. Look at this group. All those bike parts. All right, so that's about everything. And now I really will end it. We'll see you at the auction. Thanks. Bye-bye.